How I came to meet Bane. Man, that shit cute, huh? Thank you. I have PTSD, I have a bad back. One of my old army friends, and he told me about this program with these dogs. And I heard about service dog working before, but I didn't think it would work for me. I tried so many other things. When I first met Bane, I didn't want him. So uh, he chose me. Stop being jealous. There's just something about a dog's bond with you that they're, they're really susceptible to emo emotions. What he does is when I get real emotional, I get uncomfortable, he will either come to me, put his head on me, put his paw on me, and if that doesn't start working, then he'll start moving around so I pay attention to him and get my mind off of whatever I'm thinking about. I was at a real bad place. Um, actually, I didn't want I kind of try to erase my past. One day in February, I just didn't want to do it anymore. So I made that crazy decision that other people make. Uh, but the difference was is I had him this time. Come here. Stop it, it's okay. Yeah, I was going to do it with a knife. He uh, got on the bed. He laid on the bed, but he laid right on the knife. And right away, I thought he was going to accidentally hurt himself, so I'm trying to move him away. And then I start cussing at him because he won't move. And really, it's real easy to move. He'll do anything I say. I was literally pushing and trying to get him out of the way, and he just was holding his ground, would not move. And then he broke me down to tears. <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> sorry. And uh, he just looked up and just licked my face and then got up and then moved to the side. And when he did that, I just took it as a, as a sign. So by him licking my face, it was, I took it as him letting me know that no matter what, he's going to be there and that he loves me. You could tell something was wrong because he was limping. The tendon was uh, loose, so when he would move his knee, it would pop out. It would move to the side or move to the other side, so it real bad uh, discomfort and pain. During that time, we had found out um, that the situation with my back uh, just progressively got worse. My main goal was to get Bane taken care of first, and get through his recovery, make sure he's 100%, and then for me to do it. If there was any complications, like I would need him to help me walk or open doors. Red Rover as an organization helped get surgery or get Bane the surgery that he needed. I don't want anybody to be in the situation that I was in and, and to feel that there's no way out. I mean, I wish to God that everybody that is in one of those situations can have an experience like me, a, literally a life-changing experience. It's literally about trying to get that one person that wants to kill themselves, and that one dog that is literally is about to put to sleep and to give them both another chance to, to add life. I mean, it, it's not us saving them. They're, they're saving each other. All we're doing is arranging it. If there's any way the people that put the money up, if, if I can just thank them, <laughs> I tip my hat to them every day. Uh, just for what they do. I don't know, it's, it's amazing just to know that people still care. It means a lot.